be the iron and aluminum. The following frequencies are frequency steps, which are these. If, you, if you're looking at steps down, the, um, the 29.13 hertz is a third step down from the 79.8. Um, notice the third frequency of silver and the first frequency of silver or wood. The frequency for silver and iron or aluminum was a few hertz off and it's not close enough for that size target to respond. Plus the fact that the silver in the sample enhanced the response. The sample that I tested had a radius from 9.8 to 16 feet. This sample has been the largest swing of frequency movement I have seen which was 68.75 Hertz to 112.24 the report from Reed Labs confirms the calculated frequencies by ring theories two other times the reports confirmed with the same results I wish there was a perfect way to check targets using LRL MFD or for that matter metal detectors and ground resistivity the facts are all equipment showed an anomaly, conventional and non-conventional. Bottom line, the human body is sensing something and can be tracked using the LRL MFD methods. Many may say, oh, you, ju you just found an empty hull. No, we found more than that. We found silver, 0.897 per ton, ounce per ton. See the report from Reed Laboratories below. With each find, we are enhancing the frequencies and learning more about how elements combine and affect the frequency needed to locate a target. Let me say that the target was tracked almost a mile and pinpointed exactly using the LRL 500. Without IC and EWC, you may never know where the anomaly is that is causing the rings and response in the first place. Okay, here's the report from Reed Laboratories. Um, you see aluminum, well, let me zoom this up a little bit, get a little closer. Had a lot of aluminum, 81.96 per ton, and the next highest was iron, I believe it was, which was 211. So we take the, the two highest ones normally, or the three highest ones if there's a, a third, but those were the, the, the greatest two in the, um, the survey. And we combined those frequencies, and that's how we came up with that frequency I just showed you. Now, the silver and the, the precious metals are done on a, a different test. And here it is. Um, test weights in gram, they tested with 29.17. They had gold of 0.054. Gold grams per ton, 1.679, and gold PPM, 1.851, but look at silver, 0.897, almost an ounce of silver per ton. So we did find silver, we did locate silver, but it was the wrong type. We were looking for something in coin form, and obviously there's no way to set the, the unit for that and if anyone tells you that they can it's completely bogus sorry gold was also tested at the site did not get a response if you have any questions you can email me at lrlman.com our friend Dan Woods geophysicist told us that it's very hard to cancel this type of mineral pockets so now we are testing different detectors to determine if these pockets can be canceled out so we did locate silver, 0.897 ounce per ton. It was not in coin form, but in silver, just the same. Even if there was no silver in the samples combined frequencies of iron and aluminum, which came up to 72.45 hertz, it was only a few hertz, few hertz off from the silver frequency they were using, which was 79.8, showing that combined element frequencies can end up on are very near the frequency you are using. Thanks for uh, checking out the um, report here. This is a report on anomaly that was from Kentucky 
and um, we always sometimes we hit these large pockets like this and uh, we always do a report on what we find when it's not what we're looking for so we can tell what elements are in there and their combined frequencies to make sure that they are close to the frequency we were using 